Harry, Hugo, and myself being traced. Oh, Let's I kick love it. it. Off. I Let's love it. Get it on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, baby. Yeah. B side of the map to try and make a stand. He has shut down the first, looking to get a bit more done, but he's looking cold as ever in the server is glaive there. He gets pop, popped up, mopped up, whatever. It's a 2v2. But that bomb's not down just yet. Yeah, no rush for NIP. They don't know where Astralis are coming from on these rotations just yet, so don't want to force the fight. They came in from CT, so they yeah, know, you know We're going to see that immediate force buy back in from Astralis, Chase. Now, I kind of imagine this is exactly what we would see. They're keen on taking this fight here and now. And uh, we've got an immediate duel over here for this top ramp control. Now, what we've seen from the day is that they have with no ability to trade over on the Astralis camp. And there's still a chance here that this one can get out of hand for the day.
CT side allows for these faster rotations. That said, Marlis might have known what was the game plan or at least had a bit of an inkling. Brown, he'll take three at the very, very end. 10 and 1. You were just saying how he was looking good, Trace. He's continuing. You were just saying how he was looking good, Trace. He's continuing. Keeping that up here into round number six. And, uh, wow, NIP 5-1 up. That's despicable as well. That was all off the back of Astralis's, you know, own brain. They knew what was going on. They smoked off the bottom of A. They showed the AWP presence. NIP decided to avoid it. They go back towards B. Astralis, they establish a four on four with all the information. Astralis is yeah. best of three. Oh, it's been four. Glaive being the only one to fall alongside. Now we're going to see a the transition here. And right there is the danger of those flanks that we talked about, right? Dupree just got aggressive down on the B stairs. He didn't go past the choke point, but he did get spotted. And that's just given the site away. Astralis had a three on three. They had a capable situation. And now they lost the B side to frag. Pick up, picking up a Krieg, no armor, is going to try and give this one a go. And I don't blame him. But how realistic is this with his teammate so smoked off? Not at all. The vice is gone. The round is done. 6-1. Yeah, well, I forget we said. 7-1, though. Not the game we were expecting, to say the very least. This is Vertigo. This is day one, map one, and online. But Astralis really hoping for more from these guys as we move forward. Now it's got to be the time. Or never. But I'm really not hoping for that either. Well, for Device to get in the game, this would certainly be the time. Currently sitting yeah. on double O and 6. That's where you really want him. AWP in hand this round. Maybe he goes for an aggressive peak right here. Maybe that's how he wants to jumpstart his appearance into this matchup. Let me twist there. The probably run it to and quite the shot. The vice really lighting him up there, and that's a, a good step in the right for or excuse me right direction for Astralis. I was just gonna find one as well, and that also means that the numbers are very much tipping in favor. Of Poor Glaive has to be careful. Anyone getting close up by Green will be seen, and Vronsky is spamming away. That gives away as to two players on this B site. The grenade could finish off Dupree, but the molly will instead. Vronsky at least gets one man off of B. There's still another to deal with, though. Glaive up close, and oh. a man in middle that they could boost towards. But right now, it's just a solo B effort here for MIP while they wait for the utility to be set up. and they've been able to turn this round on its head down from a three on five into a two on two but now it all falls onto the shoulders of nork he has been able to retrieve this bomb he'll tap it hoping that that baits the peak and instead he puts himself in the firing line of magic so astralis they're actually going to break the curse here and now they get that second round locked in device as well is going to break his kind of quiet streak right with two big orc kills i'm going to push him back so if he tears it flashes to follow will he try and get aggressive yes but it's a double peak nip are standing side by side back to back and ready for it so if nick's dead early and no possibility for a trade unless device can hit this shot with the orb he did in the previous nork showing a bit of his head but device moving around the side instead that grenade just a little bit too late he will take minimal damage as he backs off towards the A site. Astralis giving up. We're taking this fight over towards A, allowing NIP to move closer towards A. And with five, uh, five T's here as well, it looks like we could see uh, an execute more of a sumo. Stacking them up nicely. Nip have to be feeling pretty good about this so far, though. Well, they saw him in Katowice when they played against Vitality. They were able to pull that one out, but at the end of the day, there is still a massive hole here for them to have should Nip get that right step. Uh, I think, you know, right now that they're, they're kind of showing that they've clearly been doing their homework and I think there's even more gimmicks available to you in this second half of your NIP. But let's focus on the here and now just quickly because Moski uh, has to
is that map pick? That's what we have to remember. And, you know, Astralis picked the CT side, surely not advantage like they were in that previous round. They get out of it ahead, they get themselves an eight. And it smokes, bams, and drags them forward. Astralis on eight. Yes, Vertigo here, overpass next. Train will be the decider. Again, we have to get there first. Overpass will get there for Astralis. So that should prove to be pretty fruitful for their side. Yeah, I think that's going to be a good eye test, though, for, for just how much these net guys have been prepping. You know, like, that's something that we spoke about, is how this... I mean, that should be a strong. That's a crazy thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, that should be a yeah, strong. But it's like, man, nah, the flip side to that, though, is like, what the hell is Zonic going to look at, bro? Yeah, NIP, true. like, in there, and there. Yeah, so matching the run. Yeah, that's, 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 that's what I mean, man. Matches, like, right? yeah, what, what are you going to be looking at if you're Zonic? No, you go into this if you're a Stralis. You say, well, we should be beating NIP, so let's just play our own game. And uh, that's, that's how I imagine they've dealt with it as well. I don't think this is one that they originally kind of thought they'd... brilliantly for the remainder of this first half. The sleepover has come to an end, Harry. There is a curfew. <laughs> Astralis, they've been tucked in. Yeah, pack it up. The street lights are on. Time to go home. Oh, wow. dear. Oh, dear. No one's okay. covering Twist. That is, uh, yeah, that's a bit of an oversight from NIP. But they next win because they're, uh, they're switching things up. They've actually gone ahead and crawled Plopsky. Man, Plopsky's like a little, little rat. I don't want to. I didn't want to say it, but how is he getting into all these positions? Oh, how am I mad? Just the rat Hello. catcher, the Pied Piper. He's seen him. Oh, it's oh. a backpack. Backpacks out. Oh, no. oh, he's dropped. Ah, it's chaos. There we go. <laughs> Plopsky's God. gonna get it, and that's the fight. Ooh. Dupree back with a trade, and. Uh, keeping Astralis in this one. And that's actually been enough to send NIP away from this B side of the map. Now that was never really their uh, their kind of end goal in uh-oh. Lecro, he, he doesn't, he, he's not, he knows he should be a good boy and keep rapping this A site, but he's got faith in his teammates. There's only device there. He's looking, he's hunting for Dupree. He doesn't want to let Astralis get away with these orbs at the end of this round. Pretty good observation right there. Of Astralis. In my head, I'm wondering, do Astralis even know what's going on in with these mid flanks from Lecro? Because right there, you know, that rotation comes in from Dupree. He gets killed from Lecro. But because Device is on short, in theory, Astralis could be thinking, oh, he just walked through the site and took CT. No, no, no. He fully flanked mid and went through the spawn. So at this point, if Astralis aren't catching on to these little details, the fact that NIP are sending these mid lurks in, you know, I mean, things are already bad, but they could get worse. Nobody over on the Astralis side. That's something that they've had to deal with. Suddenly everyone gets offended. So that could be a lot more helpful. Right now as far as are just waiting. Not really putting much onus in mid. Allowing Lecro to get these big flanks. Twist the orb, res with the trade, and he's just lining them up. The Kree broken as we know it with a double kill. One of those orbs gone, and the Starless down a man. And so far, it's going to be that has their number. With 11 3 half, they are sitting very free. Ooh. They're going to continue that free rampage. Running right into this B bomb site. Kree responds on the knock of the AWP. The bomb does get planted in the meantime. Kree and Blade left to retake 2v3. Popsky's looking for him, Dupree looking to try and do something nutty, but he gets caught there and he goes from Dupree to Dupree. As he, uh, what? Yeah, What's you know, that's, that, a, that's a read. Explain yourself man. right that's, now. That's the inner demon se seeping through Blade. He's full of demons. He is a demon himself, and he's trying to pull this one out from the clutches of hell itself, but Popsky is one step ahead, and NIP, they're going to take a 12 3 half. Wait to see what Astralis bring to the table. Still favored on this series. Remember, this is a best of three. Yeah, wait to see players outside of the ramping setup from Majisk. Well, we are watching this second pistol, 12 to 3, and it's going to be Astralis trying to get the bounce back. And I don't mean when you text it, whoever will bounce right back. It does that sometimes. Yeah, man, I mean. You know, dude, I've got to say more than that. We've all been there, right? We've all been there. Taking a little bit right there, Harry. Yeah, you know, well, 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 Astralis actually have a bomb down, and now four on five. They're trying to hold on to it. And it's actually in with the return. Oh, device, go on, go on, go on. Ah, no. There we go, it went the other way. Oh, sorry. Calm down. Oh, that's 
to shake out the like the uh, lots of SMGs for the second one. They don't want to give away any AKs or creeps to NIP uh, to what could be a successful force buy. They often are. Stravis, that's both pistols now. Sorry, excuse me, I'm pretty sure I don't know where people are coming from. So, back, uh, back on that one, but either way, we're going to get the second half. So, trying to carry this bomb up. Tell up to what Astralis had on this exact round 15. Right, Preston's just going to move more, maybe get something out of it. Well, Sabina just coming out on top. Mac 10 a blazing. Turn sideways, running through the site. Bree's going to join him as well. But, like, the Etch Sketch was the original <laughs> iPad, wasn't it? Yeah, so, basically. Um, <laughs> draw your own movies. <laughs> oh dear. You know, iPads are out, but I could only ever afford the Escher sketches, so that's where I ended up. Oh, oh, we ended up on the A site again, yeah. a shootout over on the ramp. And, uh, well, not a whole lot of contest here from Nip. Just Lecro left alive with a deagle in his hands. And surely the bomb will find its way into the site pretty soon. I just want to be very cautious. Lecro could be anywhere, given the round at hand. And the weaponry on file. Ooh. It's not going to do too much. Strauss put a six on the board. Yeah, just the building blocks, the foundations being laid here for this second half. We don't, of course, want to count them out after getting 12-3. I think that would be a, a massive mistake, especially with them picking up the pistol. And now the, the pressure really is on NIP. It's like, if you can pick up this, this first rifle round, slow Astralis down early on, get yourself on that CT half, and things are good. If not, then that's when you really start believing in the Danes. We know what they can do. We know what they will do. I want to see what Rez has to offer in this round. This guy's currently sitting at over 180R, over 21 frags. Like, this guy has found a rhythm here on Vertigo today versus Astralis. So perhaps he can give us a little bit more of that magic, Harry. Yeah, I mean, fingers crossed, right? Right now, he has been the player kind of setting up for these flash peaks from the orb. Faded, giving Popsky a way to fight as well. Two men down for Astralis as they finally get their footing inside of the site, but not for long. Twist has climbed up and above. Can he fire off? No oh, device. Quick with the orb on his second kill of the round. Gonna have to find a multi kill if he wants to win this one. Teammate dropped as well. 14 seconds. Bomb under his control. But if he's gonna get aggressive to find this kill, he's gonna need them both. No time to retreat. No time oh, to back up. And no time to shine. No. I like that one. But we're not quite there, obviously. They're no, rounds, Trey, but... save some of the gold. No, 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 no. We got to get out in front of it, guys. You think all the prospectors that went out west, you think that they didn't get in front of it? Isn't that just you and Pugs? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, man, you didn't have to call me out like that. But, uh, man, yeah, you know. Yeah, you'll hear about these big smokes are incredible for an IP. They completely cut Astralis off. They can't catch any vision. They can't catch any information. And no one's even on the bomb, but Astralis don't know that. The tap has been made. But this is pretty. 15 to 6. Where the line is drawn here for Astralis, at least in this best of three. Again, we do oh, move on to the second map. An overpass. Good trades right here for Astralis. Really trying to keep them alive. Three versus three. We look at the A site. I do remember we've seen nothing but A takes oh. all game long. It's even on Astralis' T side, they've had one B round so far. That grenade almost ends the life of Zitnix, but luckily enough, bullets might have to do it. Instead, they will. Twist will close the map, and that's NIP 16-6 on the first game of the day.